Hey everybody, this is Rusty again with Collector Auctions, and today I've got a new CGC unboxing. In fact, I've got the box right here. I was out when the delivery person came, which someday I actually will be here when the when FedEx or UPS or post office actually delivers this. I very rarely actually get to be home when these things come in. Uh, my wife usually gets the pleasure of picking up these heavy boxes and I'm glad this is heavy. This is a pre-screen order. This right here is a, I'm going to put this down. This right here is a pre-screen 9.4 order. And this was an order that I'm, I've got this into a system now. I've got these books. This is an order that is part of that system where I go through the books, inspect them, let them sit for a while, come back, see if I can improve their grade and everything. And I've also taken a lot of time to look at the analytics of the values and things like that. I want to see how much are these books worth at certain grades. And I've tried to, I'm trying to do pre-screens at this point because if my grading skills are deficient in any way and these drop off, as you will have seen in a couple of my other orders, some of those books aren't worth that great at that point. It's, it's, some of them are questionable. Why were they this low? But nevertheless, that low grade just actually kills the value. The book's probably more valuable raw than it is graded in a grade that drops too far down. Well, I'm doing so many books now that I'm cleaning and pressing. I mean, I've got two presses going 24 seven some weeks. I've got a third press I'm getting ready to set up so I can increase that flow and continue with this. And what that's allowing me to do is all these books that I'm doing, it allows me to put them on the side, let them sit there for a little while, days, weeks sometimes, and I can, gives me time to go through the numbers, see what grade is the lowest a it will be to have any real value. So I can put an order like this together and I can say, okay, the lowest that any of these would be worth still anything would be a 9.4 if they go down to a 9.2 it drops probably in this case and I'll, I'll pull it up because i've got my sheet right here they got some of the prices on it it will go below probably a certain value probably in most cases it'll probably go below that hundred dollar value and in that case then you're kind of questionable whether you really want to get it graded uh in some cases, yes, but it's, is it really worth your time to, after all your expenses and what you put into these books and your grading fees and everything, is your return on investment going to be really worth it? And what I'm trying to do is get these at a certain grade at the very bare minimum. Now, some of these, I can tell by the weight of this that something didn't make it to a 9.4, but I'm hoping that in a lot of cases in this box and the boxes moving forward, that the grades, just like that last one I just opened up, that it wasn't a pre-screen, but I did base that on a 9.4. All those Spider-Man books that I got in one of my previous videos, that was based on a 9.4, and I got 9.6s and 9.8s, 10 of each out of a 25-book order. I mean, just the absolute return on the investment on that box alone was fantastic. So I'm hoping that we'll have some really good books in here that'll be surpassed at 9.4 grade, and we'll get, a, again, a great return on investment. And as we go through, I will reference my sheet here and I will tell you what I, what I won't be able to tell you is what the grade or what the price, the value is of something that's above a 9.4, but I can tell you what the 9.4 is. And I know somebody wrote in and they kind of criticized that they didn't have those numbers ahead of me. And I think I said at the time I was going to find that sheet. I have a sheet that has that. I tell you what, I'm going to put this video on pause and I'm going to come right back and we will, I will have that sheet and let's see if I can reference it. Okay. All right. Hang still, hold still, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that for that short intermission right there. I've got my spreadsheet here. This is a sheet that I've put together on nearly every book that I've been working on in the last two to four months. And it kind of goes back, those thing books are ones that go back even back to the fall. And I've literally gone through and I have done research on every one of these, 
what is the lowest price? If you could go on eBay right now, which is the most common place to buy books, and you wanted to buy that book at a certain grade, what's the lowest you could absolutely buy it for? It's not an in-depth way of doing values on these things, but it was it, it is a way to do it. And it's a, it was a quick way to do it. And it's not the end price necessarily that you're going to get. Sometimes you'll have to go below this. But this was the most current fair market value um, in terms of being able to buy it on the spot. Buy it now, right now, what could you buy that for? So that's the prices I have on the sheet here. So I will, if anything hits above a 9, a nine 4, I'll be able to pull this up and I'll, I'll see if I can give you a price on what that might be. So, all right, let's get into the box. I want to make this a pretty quick video. I'm actually headed out. I'm going to go see Dr. Strange tonight with my daughter. I've already seen it. But I'm anxious to see it again and then see it through her eyes. She watches all these Marvel movies with me. Actually, she watches all the comic book movies with me. So it's fun to get to see these things through her eyes. I've done this ever since she was a little girl. So, all right, guys. Let's see what we got here. We have lots of bubble wrap. A fairly thick raw book inside. So we'll do that last. So definitely more than one book didn't make it. But there are a lot of books here, so let's just get into it and see what we've got. All right. First book up is Fantastic Four 247. This is just an absolute beautiful John Byrne Fantastic Four Doctor Doom cover. I love the storyline. It set up the storyline going into the, the about 10 issues later. Well, 10... Well, yeah, about 10 issues later, then they really have a huge storyline. But I love I love this issue in particular. And I will see what we've got. 9.6. Okay, like I said, I'm going to reference this right now. Let's see. 247. Of course, I don't have it on here. So, okay, so, boo on me. Sorry about that. Uh, I will give you the 9.4. So 9.4 is roughly 125. So my guesstimate on something like this would be probably in a 160 to 190 range, depending on um, the time in the market. So there is the first one. Sorry about that, guys. I really thought I had this uh, very inclusive list ready to go. All right, what do we have here? I think this is probably, yep, second copy of that. Let's see what we've got. 9.8. Oh my God, that's fantastic. There is a PC book for you right there because I love, there are certain books in that Fantastic Four run that I love. So, wow, we got a 9.8. And sorry about that. I tell you what, I will give you the nine, 246. 246 is the issue before that, and I don't think it's as valuable. And a 246 will run around $329. That was the last research number that I had. So, wow, 9.8 on that. That is fantastic. This is not the best presenting book. Let me see if I can bring it forward just a little bit and not in light. But you can see that the co cover wrap is not good. It's straight, but boy, the back cover is coming around the front on that really, really a lot. Now, the best thing about that was it's all white. And so it can cover up any kind of ticks that might have shown up. So if you had that going for you. All right, next book up. Okay, so it's a theme. We've got a third one of this. All right, uh, sorry, boring video so far. We'll see what we did. 9.6, okay. Can't complain, can't complain at all. As I said, I had these valued at a 9.4 at the lowest value that I would accept. 9.4 again, 247, uh, around $125. So not... There's 9.6. So far, we're doing better than what my minimum was. Okay, how many did I send in? One, two. Okay, I, so I got four of these. So the fourth one on this, let's see what we did. 9.4. Okay, there is your minimum. So there you go. There is that pre-screen helping out a little bit. Well, it didn't help out because it, it was the minimum. So it, if it fell below that, obviously it wouldn't have gotten graded. So all four of the 247s got graded. 
All right, let's see what's up next. All right, this is Batman 404, and I'm looking at my list right there. Let me see, let me see. Batman 404. Now, this wasn't super value at a 9.4. It's probably one of the lowest prices. At a 9.4, it's worth about $93. So let us see how we did. Oh, my God. Wow. I didn't expect this. Uh, to be honest, I really didn't expect this. This was a kind of a rough issue. I got this at Cards, Comics, and Collectibles at Thanksgiving last year. I thought it was a really good copy, but I felt like there was just some issues along the spine that I just like, uh, to me, it might have knocked it down to a 9.6, but man, I am so happy right here. This is awesome. If you look in the background right here, I've got this one right here. This is, uh, I picked this up at Third Eye Comics, so now I've got two of the four of the Frank Miller Year Ones as a 9.8. Oh, that is, that is exciting. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Now I kind of wish I had saved this to get uh, Frank Miller to sign it back in, in October. He's going to be at the Baltimore Comic Con. Now I have I do have that issue signed by him. Uh, my wife got it signed. I've gotten Dave Mazzarelli to sign it, and I'm not sure if we've got Denny O'Neill in there too. She might have gotten both of those, but it's definitely a nine, not a nine point eight version. It was I went back and looked at it. It's got some ticks. All right, here is a fun issue. Machine Man number one. Machine Man number one as a 9.4 is about a $100 value. This is not really a valuable book uh, too much, but let's take a look at the grade and then we'll go and see how we did. All right, here we go, here we go. Hey, 9.6, that's awesome. Let's see. Machine Man number one. I am horrible at this. I could have sworn I had that on there. Okay, bad video. I'm really messing this up. So we'll just go off of the the 9.4 value. It's $100. Um, usually these things probably go up anywhere from that 130 Just at $100 value to 9.4, it's probably 135 maybe 160 That's my guesstimate on that. But I'm real happy with this. This is a copy that I had picked up. Where did I pick this up? Again, this is another pickup from Cards, Comics, and Collectibles back in Thanksgiving. Uh, I had a copy of my own. It wasn't one that I'd had back from the 70s, but it is definitely one I had picked up back in the early 90s. Beautiful copy, but it had a crease that I worked on, but it was color breaking several inches, and it got a, a 7.5, and it really just really suffered from that. All right, here we've got, okay, you saw, the, you saw me get excited in my last video when I broke this book out. I'm going to have several of these books in here this time. This is Avengers 187, the third part of the origin of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. This is the least valuable of the three-part storyline, the last of them, but it's very appropriate for this time considering we just had, we, hey, we got Doctor Strange tonight. I'm going to see this character right here on uh, in this movie. So this is exciting to have this book on this day when I get to share that movie with my daughter. Let's see. Well, actually, let me say. Well, I can't tell you because I've got one, two, three. I've got four 187s in here. All of these came from the Baltimore Comic Con back in October. And I wasn't paying. I'm looking at prices right now. What did I pay? I want to say $10 maybe a piece on these. So we'll see how we did. Let's see, 9.6. Okay, that's respectable. That is respectable. Now, I'd be an idiot if I, if I can't pull this one up. Let's see. Avengers 187. I've got a 9.6 listed for about $150. So, this I put that, put that list together months ago, over the last few months, so that value may have changed today. I know the market is really up and down down these days this is a good time to be buying things all right this is fantastic four 273 this is the second part of that um, warlord storyline the future kang is this is reed richard's dad isn't he kang supreme is that how it works i don't know it had something to do with the loki show let's see how we did 
9.4. Okay. Very easy to give you a grade on this. Now, this is actually a pretty big key. Uh, right now, I've got a 9.4 at 175. Again, if the market's changed since I put this list together, that's that's a thing. So if you call me out on the price on that, then know that that is uh, that's what's going on. This was a personal book. I This is a book I bought when it came out. It was one of my orders back in the day. So this came from the PC. That's pretty good, considering that I had that book all those years like that. All right, what's up next? All right, here is a fun issue. This is one of the Marvel Comics Presents 79. You know I love this series. I, I talk about it all the time. I continue picking up these issues. Uh, I pick all these issues up all the time. The ones that it's not number 72. 72 is the big key, but the rest of them are it's just a great storyline. And I think 79 is probably the second most valuable in there. So let's see what we did. And I'll give you a little heads up. Seven, two, let's see. 79, because the 9.4 is about a $100 value. Uh, this one actually came from the PC, so we'll see how we did. 9.4. Okay, so there is about a $100 value on something like that right there. Beautiful cover. It's probably one of the best covers of... Oops, sorry about that. Lots of light. Probably one of the best covers in that whole series. All right, here we got a fun copy, a fun book. I did not... This is a book I... Picked up at one of the shows, and I'll have to, I'll have to look here. Where did I pick this up? This actually, this is a whatnot pickup. Hmm. So paid a little bit of money for it. At a nine four, it's about a hundred and twenty dollar value. Let's see how we did. Hey, ha, awesome! A nine eight. Let me see. Now, I've gotten, this is the second 9.8 I've gotten in this. I pulled this book out of my PC and got a 9.8 on it. And I've also got, had two of them, and I had the other one at a 9.6. So I, I had taken really good care of both of those. Uh, Simpsons, Simpsons, Simpsons. Okay, so I hadn't gone back and done a research on this. I just knew that I had done this book before, and I had added it to my pull list when I went to con. So I didn't go back and do put that on the spreadsheet. But I know this is pretty good. I know a 9.8 can go, you can well north of $200. So this is a really good book. I love this book. And that means I've got two 9.8s. This is definitely available if somebody wants one of these. That is awesome. All right, what's up next? Looks like another Marvel Comics Presents. This is issue 80. And let's see. Issue 80. Actually, it's a pretty valuable issue at a 9.4. Now, I've got this at 175. I don't believe that. I, I think that might be off. But I've got the paper. Let's, I know it's on there. Let's see what we've got. 9-4. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. So, a 9-4 Marvel Comics Presents. This is number... What did I say? This is number 80. Yeah, this one... This is definitely one of those ones. It's about a $75 value. Um, I guess the Marvel Comics Presents are the ones that I took more of a chance on on these. If I really want to retain the value on these, I would have put them up as a, at least a 9-6, but I didn't. I felt like the cleaning and pressing I had done on these were really good. Uh, I'm looking at my notes, and that was another PC book, so I, I might have just bought one of those the other day. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm going to be happy about this, whatever the grade is. This is a book I picked up in the early 90s when I had moved up to Baltimore, and I first experienced being able to go to comic shops whenever I wanted to. Jeffy's was the big comic shop around here. There were several of them, and I'd go to that shop, one of the shops, and I would pick up uh, books from the Bronze Age that I didn't have in my collection that it was run fillers. I picked up entire runs of Master Kung Fu and Miss Marvel and The Human Fly and uh, Tomb of Dracula and things like that. Just all these great books that you could read. And one of those, I picked up a bunch of copies of Daredevil. And Daredevil, I had... I had kind of stopped around about the 120 mark, and I didn't pick it up again until well into, well, 
partially into the Frank Miller run. I, I had, I don't think I had any issues in there. So I picked up a handful of issues throughout the thing. So I had this, this probably came from my PC, bought this in probably early 90s. And I know I didn't pay more than two to four bucks for something like this. But this is an early appearance of, of uh, Bullseye. It's not the first, that's 131. And I think there's at least one or two more issues between this and that one, but it is an early appearance. But so I've gotten up, well, I can see the grade in the back. So it, that right there is a fantastic win right there. So a 9.4 on a Daredevil 146 would have been a 125. Let's see if I did my research on this. And of course not. Not as good as I thought I was. I thought I'd hit everything, but you know, this is a big giant list and I just guess I didn't. I didn't do everything. So I apologize. Whoever wanted me to do that and I said, oh, I have the sheet. I'll be able to pull the prices out. My apologies. I definitely apologize for that. Um, if I, when I do the video uh, editing for this and I can come up with a price, I'll put it on the screen on some of these that I don't have them on the list at these certain grades. I think that might be helpful, have some visual aids and everything. So, but that is exciting. I mean, that's a book. I mean, it wasn't totally rough, but you know, this is a book from 1977 that I worked on and I got that up to a nine six. That is, that is outstanding. Never expected I mean, so especially these older books, I didn't expect to get them up to nine eights, but you never know. Sometimes, sometimes it's just right. All right, here is a copy of 269 Avengers. This is the third it's part of the storyline with Council of Kangs. And it is not, I, of the three issues, 267, that's the big issue to get. 269, or 60, 68 is the, is the least of the three, and this is the next one. And I sort of like, the, I'd like to get, uh, get nine eights on all of these. I think I've got nine eights on this one before. So we'll see what we did. Let's see what we did. Nine six. Okay, that's eh, semi-acceptable. I would have liked, that's a book that really needs to be that nine, yeah, that, that nine, that nine, nine four. Um, yeah, I don't have, I don't have a nine six listed on there, but as a nine four, it's about $135 value. And that probably has dropped since the further we get away from the Loki show, the further this has dropped. And let's see if I can turn that and get that a little, get it out of the light a little bit. I expect it may, it may go back up depending on what they do with Kang in the MCU. So anyway, 9.6, it's not, that one's going to drop down in value a little bit. I, I don't expect it. As I said, a 9.4 is, it says $135. I don't believe it. I had two copies of this, and I'm looking at my notes. One of these came from Third Eye Comics, and one of them came from Cards, Comics, and Collectibles back in Thanksgiving. So here's a second copy of that. Let's see how we did. Awesome. 9.8. That, that is awesome right there. So that may... I don't expect this to be over a $200 book at this point. That's probably closer to $175, $180. That's what I would expect on something like that. It's not the first issue in a series. It is sort of the the uh, penultimate book in that series. But yeah, yeah, 9.8. Can't complain. Can't go wrong with a 9.8. All right. Oh, here's another one of those copies of 187 that we went over earlier. They didn't put these in order, but that's okay. Let's see how we did on this one. Another 9.8. Wow. I mean, this is a ten. This is a $10 investment plus the fees that went into grading and the shipping and everything like that i mean that is just outstanding as i said uh, that is that is that is it's not the most expensive 186 is the one to really that if you got a 98 on the nine or a 186 man that's that's going for broke man that's that is that is just freaking awesome but for this i've got it's about a right now i've got it down as about a 312 dollar value so again these were the prices I found at the time. Oh, I got some help. This is lucky, everyone. He decided to come up and help. All right, here's a, another copy of that. How many did I do? Yeah, I did four of these. So how many have I shown already? All right, we'll see how we did. Let's see how we did. 9.8. Man, I'm going to town on this. I, this is awesome. I mean, the other one, and here we go. You tell me, I've got a direct... And I've got a newsstand. 
So I've got both. I'm covering my bases right there on both of them. Wow, that that's it. That's outstanding. All right, what else have we got? Okay, here should be the last one. Let's see what we did. All right, all right, all right. Another direct version. Nine point six. Okay, that's awesome. Two nine sixes and two nine, nine eights. Man, I'll take that all day. All right, we've got three more left that were graded, and then we'll go through the rolls and see where we stand. Oh, this is nice. This is uh, Silver Surfer number 34, volume 3. This is one of the Thanos issues. I'll have to read the front to tell you exactly what the significance was. Was this the first one when they brought Thanos back? or I can't remember. But let's see what we did here. Ready, ready, ready? 9.6. Ah, oh, okay. So... I've got this as a 9.4 is about a, about a $100 value. As a 9.6, let's see if I actually did the work here. Of course not. Man, I'm really blowing it with this list. But as I said, I, I, I thought it would cover it, but it, it's not covering it. I'll put some graphics up on the screen before I actually, when I air this video, I'll, I'll do the editing before. I'll, I'll do, some, do some work and do some research. And I'll put those values on the screen so you'll have them so I won't just look like a complete idiot like I am right now not having that information in front of me. All right, oh, here's John Burns' Next Men number 14. And this is probably the second most valuable in that Next Men run. Number, I think it's 21 is the first full color appearance of Hellboy. But there is a kind of a cameo of Hellboy in this. This is technically, I guess, the first real appearance. And I had gotten this before I got a 9.6. It was my personal copy. I found this one. I'll look at the list here in a second. I'll tell you how much I paid for it. But let's see how we did on this one. 9.8. That is awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. A 9.4 on that would have, was about 110. Let's see if I've... Nope. 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 Can't tell you. Can't tell you, but I will show it on the screen how much it is. So that is awesome right there. You need a nut, you really need those high grades on those to make that really valuable. The cameo is really, I don't want to say suspect, but it, it's there. Oh, okay. So last copy right here. We're, uh, actually on that next min, where did I get that? Uh, Baltimore Comic Con, I picked that up. I picked, paid, I think, a whole $12 for that. So that's going to be good return on investment. In fact, what I'll do is I, I think I'll go through these books afterwards and I'll tell you the prices I paid on all of these. All right. So the first issue, or last one we have right here is Spawn number one. And let's see how we did. Actually, I got to look because my screen just darkened and I'm looking. Oh my God, we got a 9.8. That's fantastic. This is the second 9.8 that I've gotten. I got a 9.8 on my personal copy. And I got this right here, Spawn number one as a... 9.4 uh, was about a hundred dollar value, but as a 9.8, let us see. <laughs> nope, of course not. I got spawn eight and I got spawn nine on here, but I didn't do number one. So I'm thinking I've seen videos in, right now that we've um, that's come out, and some of these come out and not new stamps, but this probably is a hundred eighty, two hundred dollar book. So, but that is awesome to get a 9.8 on another one of these. Fantastic. So real happy with my returns. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, pause the video. We're going to come back and then I'm going to do the raw video, the raw books, and we'll show you what didn't make the grade. What didn't what didn't make that 9.4 cutoff? Because I'm looking, I'm looking at the list here and yeah, I'm going to be a little disappointed. I've got some books in here that I felt, I really felt like should have made that great. So, no, he definitely won of these. But again, what did I say? This is protecting myself. This is protecting my investment not to get books that are not going to be worth getting graded. So, pay a little fee to not have it be devalued anymore. So, all right, I'm going to put, put the video in pause and then I'm going to come right back and we will do the rest of the video while I get the, the books ready to go. All right. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, guys, and so we're back. I want to apologize for the short 
interlude right there. Normally I would have just kept on filming and I would have opened up the box with the roll comics inside and we would continue with the video probably non-stop. That's how I usually do these shows. I will just keep talking until I run out of breath. One big take and but this episode, this show right here, we we're cutting it into little smaller pieces and most of it was when I finished up the last book here, the Spawn book, I wanted to um I was going to do the rolls, but then I realized what time it was. It was time to go get my daughter. Let's go see Doctor Strange and see how she thought, what she thought of it and everything. And I just literally walked back in after dropping her back off. We both had a great time. I really enjoyed it. I hope everybody else did as well. And it's going to be exciting to see where they go from this and what they build on from this. Because there's so many things that they, they started to draw from. They drew, obviously, from the What If series a little bit. Uh, there's definitely some big stuff from the comic books. I'm excited about that. It's going to be exciting to see where we go. We've got variant time variants. We've got multiversal variants. They can do just about anything. It was exciting to see some of the characters in the MCU that we have not seen previously. I'm not going to say anything. It's still been only two weeks now, but uh, there's still a lot of people probably haven't seen it, but uh, I'm sure just about every comic fan has seen it. But just, sorry, that was my brief talking about the movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, probably will go see it a third time in a few weeks. Uh, let it set for a little bit, but uh, yeah, yeah, really fun movie. Anyway, let's go into the raw books now and see what did not make the 9.4 pre-screen and hopefully these are books that I can readdress I can go back and maybe do a little bit more if they've got any greater notes that will help but I'll take a look at them maybe maybe these books can stand to have a little bit more care to them Or maybe it's something that I really missed. I mean, who knows? All right, so let's see. I'm going to put Spawn down for a sec. And let's see what we got. Okay, so here's... This is this is disappointing. This is a Spider-Man 258. You know I love this issue. I keep buying this issue. This right here is one of my favorites. I, my last CGSC unboxing. You saw how excited I got when I got 9.8s on this book. That is a monster book. It is a key Venom origin piece. Just absolutely, just absolutely gorgeous. The fact that this did not meet at least the 9.4 was a little shocking because I felt like all of, all of these were. And I'm going to say the same thing about the rest of these too. But we'll take a really close look at them and we'll make a determination. Maybe maybe they can be bumped up a little bit more. Maybe I can get them back up to the 9-4 level. But, so we start off with Spider-Man 258. And this would have been a nice one to have in there. This is uh, Avengers 185. This, is, of course, goes with that Avengers 187. This is the first part of the Scarlet Witch origin story. And what did I say? I went to the movies tonight, and this comic, 185, 5, 186, which is not in this order, by the way, and the 187s that did get graded, all part of that movie tonight. And it had pieces to that. So it was exciting to see the creators being, um, giving some credit at the end of the movie during the credits. You see the Steve Englehart's of the world, the the John Burns that worked on these books. I It goes by so fast. I'm hoping that there was a little bit of George Perez in there, too, but uh, I wasn't sure. I'd have to look at that list again. All right, now this one's a disappointment because this is a nice key book. I would have liked to have, I would have thought this would have at least got a 9-4, but this is a 257. This is the first appearance of Nebula in the MCU. She is Thanos' daughter. In comics, it's granddaughter. I think that's how it works. And then, now, this is a disappointment on both ends. I've got two copies of this. This is Daredevil 254, I think. Isn't this the first appearance of, of Typhoid Mary? And, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the fact that I struck out on both of those books right there is a little concerning. So, yeah, I don't know what I missed. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Yeah, one of these is a PC book, and the other one I picked up at a show over in Frederick, Maryland earlier. 
I guess it was would have been probably late last year. Uh, the Avengers 185 I got off of eBay. Yeah, I paid twenty one dollars with that. I'm looking at the price right there, and I know I bought that as a package with one eighty six. And so, what was the other thing here? We oh, the Spider Man two fifty eight came from the Frederick Show. That was a ten dollar book. So, yeah, well, a little disappointing. So we got one eighty two fifty six. That one oh, and the the Avengers there the two fifty uh, two fifty seven. Let's see, what did I spend on that? Yeah, that was an, actually a pretty expensive book, and to get have it come back not even a 9.4, that is a little shocking. But overall, this is really good. This, this ended up being a great order. Only one, two, three, four. So five books did not make it, and we've got, so that means we've got 20 books here that met that 9.4, and many of those actually exceeded the order. And with a handful of 9.8s in there, that's really good. So it's a lot of 9.8s and 9.6s. Uh, super value on this. I will probably do this, like I was talking earlier in the video in the, in the section when I was doing the slabs, is I will put up values on the screen as I'm talking because obviously my paperwork here wasn't complete. But I can, I can do that on screen. So I... You, on the side, I'll put up somewhere and you can see what the values would have been in a 9.8, 9.6, or whatever the grade was. You can see what the value, fair market value is at this time. So anyway, guys, that is it. Great unboxing. The process to me felt like it really worked. These books right here will be readdressed. I will go over these with a fine tooth comb and we hopefully will be able to resubmit them for at the very least, again, another 9.4 order, if not something better. But I, this, I'm pretty sure these will stay at that. What the big determining factor is, there's two factors right here. Is one is the condition, and two, it is what's the fair market value at that time when I'm getting ready to send these in. I mean, let's just say the market drops out and all of a sudden nobody wants this book anymore and it, it the value really drops. Maybe then a 9.4 isn't where it really needs to be to, actually be valuable but so those two things play hand in hand a little bit so anyway guys that is it that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully i didn't annoy you too much with the lack of information on my spreadsheet but hey it is what it is i will try to make good as i said i'll put the graphics up on the side and we'll go from there um if you'd like the video, please hit the thumbs up, and thank you guys for everybody who's been supporting the channel and has subscribed to the channel. We've gone over that 300 mark, and I'm real excited about that. We're just pushing right through. So we're growing slowly. I like to see where this goes, and it's just a fun place to talk about the books, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. So guys, take care, and I will see you for the next one.